Okay, so here we are on the inside. Um, there's lots of storage in here. This is with the bed down. Um, and that's with one of the futons down. That's what they look like when they're down. Um, and then that's what they look like when they're up. There's also um, another board under here. You would pull this up. And it has legs underneath of it to make your futon even wider. And then, of course, there's holes in the floor. There's the legs to the table. And then here's the, the table. It's two halves that come together. Um, there, here are these vents back here I was talking about in the back of the trailer. I'm not sure exactly what they're for. But there's one on each side. Uh, here's the controls right here in the center for the AC. Uh, we've got a refrigerator. And then within the refrigerator is your freezer. Um, I think this shelf up here is kind of where you'd put like a TV and stuff. You got <clears throat> TV hookups right here. Your, your cable comes in. The satellite ready. Here's a nice little very skinny closet. And some drawers. Drawers all over here. Got your microwave here behind the door. Uh, stove. There is no oven, just the microwave. And then double sink. And more cupboards. And you can even put stuff on top of your cupboards. It does have, um, here's the controls for your fuel station. Um, all the stuff here for <clears throat> your tanks and your battery. Uh, and then your radio. Radio has four speakers inside here. Doesn't have any outside speakers. Uh, there's a spot here where somebody cut something into the counter. I don't know what that was for. <clears throat> Probably <clears throat> some sort of rack. Um, and then the bathroom here is the floor that I redid. Um, this is, I forget what kind of wood it is, but it's real wood flooring. Painted on the back side and then put liquid nails in every seam here, which doesn't look very good. Um, you could probably sand it off pretty easily. But basically, I just want to make sure that no water would get down in those cracks. Um, that we replaced this whole bathroom here was this kind of wallpapered stuff that didn't seem very wall waterproof. So on the parts that we replaced here, uh, we used like um, stuff they'd use in a shower, and then we just painted over the rest of this um, with like a kind of a rubber paint. Um, it probably needs another coat, and then also that board down there got messed and needs to be painted. And then in here there's a fan, or exhaust vent. Um, there's lights everywhere in here. All the lights, you can, they have two different stages to them. You can turn on one side. Or just turn it all the way off or both. And then they also have switches on the wall to turn them off too. Um, so, yeah, the floor in here has all been replaced. The floor out here, you can feel that it has a little bit of a give to it. Um, there are some spots that are, that are worse than others, but I mean, you can definitely walk on every bit of it. It's not like you're going to go through. I think there's a little bit of one right there that you can feel with your toes. Um, and that's about it. There's little reading lights around. I can't think of anything else. Um, I guess uh, let me know if there are questions.